Hey guys, it's Meg from Movie Clips with my top 10 of 2012. Number 10, Ted. Seth MacFarlane of Family Guy's directorial debut. This is hands down my favorite comedy of the year. This movie stars Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, and Seth MacFarlane as the raunchy teddy bear. Raunchy dialogue, sight gags, celebrity cameos, it's got everything. Who knew Mark Wahlberg was afraid of a little poop? That's not what she meant at all. Number nine, Argo. Directed by and starring Mr. Ben Affleck. This movie has Oscar buzz all over it for best director, best picture, even best actor. The key to a good performance is not saying anything. Who knew Ben Affleck would look so good in a 70s Bieber-esque coif? Exciting, suspenseful, and funny on top of it. Number eight, Perks of Being a Wallflower. This was one of my favorite books as a teenager, and the movie is just as poignant today. Steven Chbosky wrote the book, adapted the screenplay, and directed this. Great performances by Logan Lerman, Emma Watson, Ezra Miller. Super cool that someone from Hogwarts is gonna have a good career. That felt good. This movie is super relatable for young people, and it reminds you that you're not alone out there. I see where we are infinite. Number seven, Looper. This is one of the best time traveling movies I've ever seen. This is the return of hard sci-fi. But what else would we expect from the brilliant mind of Ryan Johnson? It's got twists and turns and a little love when you least expect it. You wouldn't let me die, you're not gonna kill me. How sad was Joseph Gordon-Levitt when he realized he was gonna go bald? I guarantee you and your future self will love this movie. Number six, Zero Dark Thirty. This is the definition of intense. It's riveting all the way through. It's like Argo without the jokes. Any questions? There's already buzz about Jessica Chastain being nominated for Best Actress. Number five, Cabin in the Woods. Co-written by Joss Whedon, who's having an amazing year. He might come up later. This is the horror movie to end all horror movies. It's got everything. Blood, guts, sex, and comedy. Uh, this isn't right, we should split up. Yeah, good idea. Really? <laughs> the craziest third act you'll ever see. One word, merman. <laughs> Number four, The Dark Knight Rises. The third and final installment in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. The movie's three hours long and I didn't get up to P once. Now that's pretty epic. When Gotham is ashes, you have my permission to pee. We were all wondering if Nolan could top The Dark Knight, but he did. Hoping this will pick up some Oscar nominations. Number three, The Avengers. I told you we'd get to Joss Whedon again. He wrote and directed this. He managed to bring all of the Marvel characters together and make a coherent, great movie. My personal fave is Thor. I hear his hammer gets even bigger. <laughs> Hands down, best use of the Hulk in all three movies. One of the wittiest superhero movies ever made. Well, let me know if real power or wants a magazine or something. Number two, Life of Pi. People said it was unfilmable, but it took a genius like Ang Lee to bring it to life. And he did an amazing job. Not only is it beautiful to look at, this film legitimizes the use of 3D. The story's captivating and the acting is superb. This is hands down the most beautiful, emotional film of the year. And it will make you want to cuddle a tiger in the end. My number one pick is Silver Linings Playbook. In the year of big blockbusters, this is the movie that got me the most. This has career best performances by Bradley Cooper and Jennifer Lawrence. If I were voting, they'd both be getting Oscars. What? In the end of the day, the best kind of movies have compelling stories and great characters, which is what this film is all about. Say what you will about David O. Russell's vocabulary. The man has made an amazing film and it's my pick of the year. Once again, my top 10 films of the year are Ted, Argo, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, Looper, Zero Dark Thirty, Cabin in the Woods, The Dark Knight Rises, The Avengers, Life of Pi, Silver Linings Playbook. I'm Meg from Movie Clips. Thanks for watching. It's been a great year in film. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter. See you in 2013.